Welcome to the CSI Arena and the 2018 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. We're hosted here in Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada, and proudly presented by Q Sports International. Our sponsors for the event include the Rio Hotel and Casino, Simonis, Diamond, Cyclop, Acme Cases, and Predator 1080 Pure Chalk. We're being streamed on PlayCSIPool.com. Right now, I'd like to bring attention to one of our best matchups tonight. This is the hot seat matchup, and both players are undefeated so far in the tournament. First up, hailing out of Germany, he's sponsored by Cyclop Balls, Kamui, Volmer Cases, and GD, Volmer Qs, and GD Cases. He is the two-time world nine ball champion. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Torsten Holman. <laughs> and his opponent, hailing from Canada, he's sponsored by Ariel Carmeli Cues, the Spot Billiards, three second cases, and behind the rock. He is the current reigning U.S. Open eight ball champion. Let's put our hands together for Alex Hagelin. <laughs> right now, I'd like to turn it over to my two esteemed colleagues in the booth, Freddie Ogbeer and George. Taya Chea. Gentlemen, have a great match. Good luck, and you may lag for break. Thank you, John Lehman. Freddie Agnew, the corner man here with George Taya Chea. Once again, here great, we go. What a great match we got. This is the hot seat match. Torsen Holman, the hitman, versus Alex Pagolayan, the lion from Canada slash Philippines, the reigning US Open eight ball champion. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Uh, these two guys, what a matchup we have for you guys. A six round match. Six round match of the U.S. Eight Ball Championship. Uh, this is the hot seat match, as Randy just told you. And most importantly, these gentlemen have yet to taste defeat in this tournament. Torsten had said that he had been uh, on some, some sort of layoff. He hasn't sure. been playing much. Sure. And here he is. He's worked himself into the finals of the winner's bracket. That was Wednesday last week. He's worked himself into, he's gotten enough pool in the last few days uh, after the 10 ball and now now four, uh, three days of the eight ball uh, to get into this hot seat match and possibly into the finals. Uh, Alex had a great match uh, defeating Eklenti. Yes, Eklenti Kast did. Kachi. Oh, he's, just, did. he's got the one ball going. No, five ball, no, no balls on the break. You better find that one quickly. This is a race to eight on this nine foot diamond table with eight and a quarter inch, uh, four and a quarter inch pockets. <laughs> with eight inch pockets, I'll play some. I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. We'll have the finals tomorrow and it will be an extended race to 10. Mm -hmm. It's a race to eight. These are CSI rules. The the loser of this match can do no worse than third place, which would be $4,000. The winner uh, is up for $9,000 or $6,000 for second place. So it's nine, six, four um, that these guys uh, have a shot at. Well, we have an interesting layout here, the five, seven, 14, and six are all bunched up over there, <laughs> so something has to happen. You mean that the, wall of balls the, behind the eight? The wall of balls. Alex's first match was a bye, and then he defeated Cole Hogart, Ronnie Elcano, Warren Kiamko, and Eklund Kachi. That was a great match with Clint. That was a great match. And Alex, Alex exacting some, some little bit of rev <laughs> uh, revenge from uh, his defeat at the hands of Clenty last week, two weeks ago now in Arizona. Yeah, that was a 10 ball. That was 10 ball though, that was not eight ball. That wasn't so eight ball, so. 
Torsen got here via a bye. Oh, that was a great shot. Rob Saez, defeating Rob Saez, Omar Al Shaheen, Dennis Orguyo, and Oscar Dominguez. That was a hard fought match with Oscar. Toasty has broken up those balls, but there is a problem. The three ball only banks. So it'll be very interesting if he can get below the three ball somehow now and play the three ball up table. In fact, maybe plays the three ball to the seven ball now. Oh, he's gonna run out of balls here. Is it the three ball or the five ball? The one down by the by the eleven. Yeah, it's it's. As soon as he changes monitors, I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> he looks like the five. It must be the five. It is the three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because there's the thirteen, which is orange, and then there's the eleven right. next to the three, which is uh, red, the and they're both the same. Right. Yeah, there you go. So somewhere he's you now, uh, Tosi's he's played up table here without much thought about what's happening with this three ball. I'm sure he has a plan for it. It just it doesn't seem obvious to me. Will he try to lay the cue ball between the rail and the three in uh, uh, first seem, position for the side? It. it would seem it, but. He's got to get perfect on this seven. And he's. It's close. He's, he's in real good shape. I believe the three goes in the corner, but he'll still cut it in. Um, I think he's going to be able to execute this shot to perfection. This is professional execution here because that three ball is so difficult. Great camera shot for this. No, he's going to play, play the three table. ball in Don't the same wrap around. Up Don't no. wrap around. It is. He's going to look, and he's either going to shake his head. I believe he can make this no, ball. No, he doesn't. Well, he did shake his head. A little half shake. A little half shake. But if it's it slow enough, it'll go in the pocket. Also, if we remember correctly, if there's any lean to this table, it's to the left. So this helps also. Just going to hit it slow. See how slow he hit it? He hit it with <laughs> all kinds of pace. Apparently it was straight in. Looked good. Nice run out by Toasty. Torsten Homan, the hitman from Germany slash Philippines. And he takes the first game. One to zero over Alex. Pagu Lion. The lion roars and the hitman hits. Torsten actually has a U.S. Open championship. I think it must be an eight ball. It has to be. I'm saying it has to be, but I don't know that. It was on in 2000, <laughs> I want to say it was 2015. Somewhere along the line. I might be able to get something. On Sponsors of the U.S. I believe John went through all that. Come to think of it, yes, we had the did. formal introduction. So uh, I was about to go into that, and I remembered that John gave us a formal introduction. No, absolutely no Facebook Live. If you're on Facebook Live, turn it off now, please. Okay. Well, Torsten to break. Alex didn't make a ball in the break, whereas when he played Clenty, he uh, had some fantastic break, making balls in the break almost every time. Freddie, you were correct. U.S. Open 10 ball, oh, 2015. The, it was the 10 ball, not the 8 mm -hmm. ball. Okay. There's, he took a thir uh, 13th place in the U.S. Open 8 ball championships that same year. Okay. I remember when... Uh, when we came in 2016, he was the defending champion of one of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Opens. So you can remember back two years, actually well, three years. I remember interviewing him. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it was back three years, and we were back. Is that is that the year we did the the player interview prior to the matches uh, with the camera by themselves? Uh, that was. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. That's 2016. I, I had other interviews with Torsten. Mm -hmm. Two different things that were going on. I interviewed him for for uh, live feed. 
before his challenge match. Well, and he must add it. He, he actually had a great year that year. Uh, he also won the 14-1 tournament, world tournament. Well, he's a three-time world 14-1 champion, I believe. Yeah, I took a second. Orson broke those balls pretty well. The low balls are covering the eight ball, so it feels like he must get the low balls out. He's getting the seven ball right now. He's gonna break and run this. I mean, he's just, this is a good rack for him to run out. One of the things about Torsten Holman that a lot of new players might not realize, he was the world nine ball champion beating a young Alex Pagalayan. But Alex was, even though he, Alex is very young, he was heavily favored. Torsten Holman was an unknown at the time. Alex was the up and coming new Filipino player. This was about uh, a zillion years ago. I mean, we're talking about nearly 15, 20 years ago at this point. So you're saying that's old by pool player standards? Yeah, some, <laughs> some pool players have not been alive either, so long. You know, personally, playing pool as long as I have, I would say between your 40s and 50s would probably be your best age because you've accumulated all that experience. And uh, But I guess you, you, you sacrifice some as life, uh, <laughs> yeah. as life, uh, as life, as you have life other than pool. And notice, Torsten didn't have to do anything difficult. No, nope. uh, fantastic break, very solid pattern out. He's moving like he's moving with a purpose. He's moving like he likes to run around this little track yeah. too. When he walks around the track, he does look very athletic doing it. You know, he's like he's got it, uh, got a purpose. Yeah, the 2003 World Nine Ball Champion. That was 15 years ago. Pretty impressive. Second place runner-up was Alex Pagolayan. Alex has since won the World Nine Ball Champion himself, championship mm -hmm. himself. Well, 39 players started this. And like I said, the worst that these two gentlemen can do is third place in this tournament. If they lose their next, if they lose this one, lose the next one, they're third place. If not, they're back in the final. Either you win this and wait to be in the final, or you lose this and then win your next match <laughs> and get back into the final. Either way, you have a chance to battle again with the gentleman that beats you right here. And they're only one match away. Well, big, big break, but he lost the cue ball up table somehow. He needs to find a ball to pocket. So if there's any match you want to lose in the tournament, the hot seat match is the match <laughs> you want to lose because yeah. it only takes you one more to get back in the finals. And actually, your opponent will be waiting, and you'll be fresh off the match. So if you have the physical stamina, you're in good shape. Meanwhile, Alex, who has the physical stamina, <laughs> is measuring shots to shoot. Well, this first shot is everything. He's already down two to nothing. He really, well, at least he made a ball this time, but he wants an easy out. But the first shot's gonna be a scramble. Yeah. Back cut the seven. Yeah. This is an okay, this is okay shot. This is high percentage for Alex. The ball skidded a little bit, but it actually went in. You can see a cut in the face. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at the screen to see if I was right. By the time, oh. you know, tough to see from way up here. Well, you f we're fortunate to have a uh, another screen that's showing with a little delay on it, so we can have a replay. Meanwhile, he's uh, got himself in a good position. The four ball is difficult, but he'll get to there. He's gonna, yeah, he just got to get down past the 12 on the bottom right, and he'll do that when he gets down for this six ball. Yeah, I looked at it again. It definitely looks like it skidded just mm -hmm. a hair. So you hit it to the center of the pocket and it went to the outside it, of the pocket. You hit the face of the pocket mm -hmm. from there. Sure. 
Three ball on the side. Yeah. Is he going to go all the way around the world table here? I don't think. I don't think he's going to come all the way down there. He's he's going to oh, just uh, use these really balls. Good. He's going to use the five ball to get down yeah, for the. He put a lot of check six. on there just to hold that ball. Because it was a good. Yeah, he was cut. trying to hold it. I mean, then he was trying to hold it for the five. Yeah, yeah, it's something. And he's held it. He overheld it. He still has a path to go. He can go between the 15 and the 9 uh, and hit the rail and come down for the... Well, if he shoots the one ball, uh, I think he needs to get out an extension ladder. Then I guess he's coming down, all <laughs> the way down. I don't see him doing that, though. I don't see him uh, saving that one ball for last. No, I wouldn't think so. Not anymore. If, if he had that plan to, to do it, he wouldn't mm -hmm. he would abandon that. He put this in the place where you just can't reach it. Alex is very um, adept. adept, competent, able to use the bridge. He's going to come all the way down to the right, or is he going to hit right where he just picked up the, <laughs> the, the, the rack from? I think he needs to put the ball rack right back there and hit it. <laughs> which we've determined is not a foul. It is part of the table, considered part of the table. All right. It feels like he, should, from here, it looks like he really should go to the six, but he is going to the six. Mm -hmm. yep. Now he's no, going he can't to the reach four. This one either. Behind the back. Or Bridge again? Uh, Left-handed? No. He can't reach. What do you, okay. There it is. He doesn't want to get straight in on this ball. He wants to give himself an angle to go into the into the. Uh oh, hold it! Uh -oh. Why would you hit it so hard? Uh, he's oh boy, um, he has it, but it's it's close. Well, now he's got to use English. Well, there's two ways he can play this. He can come up into the eleven ball. Oh, now he's scratching the back of his head. Then he can't see it. How did he get here? Oh boy. Oh boy. He looked yeah, up at this guy. see it. The banking. That's using the bridge. And he's very good at using the bridge. But he hit that about two inches too hard. Right. Maybe even an inch Ow. too hard. All right. He's going to spin it. Massé. And it's going the right way for him. Eight ball up table. Perfect. I think he just wanted to give us something to talk about. <laughs> Good angle here. Those sharp corner points on these diamond tables. They don't have to go in. They don't, you hit that corner. Well, the lead, if this in. ball goes in the side pocket, then that's that's that. But if it doesn't, that's actually a, a good lead. With this ball? Not this uh, The 10 ball. 10 ball? Because you don't want to play the 10 uh, combination. And if he plays the 10, yeah. He can come off that ball. What's he playing? He's got him. Isn't he's playing he playing the, the combination? Combo? Got to. He's going to slow roll it, too. Because he can't go down and make the eight. Right. So you had to actually. That was That's a nice shot. That was quite a uh, <laughs> touchy shot there. Yeah. He hit it thick enough so the, the ten ball I came away from right. the eight instead of right at the eight. If he and rolled it, it would have gone right to the eight ball. And now he's giving him a, a shot here. to. He's got to get this ten ball out of there. I think uh, that should be his. I think that would be his next shot. I would think so too. He can roll for it in the side pocket. He can draw for it in the corner pocket. Whichever one he does, he has to make sure he gets on it, or he'll have a harder shot on the 15 first. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, he's coming down and back up. He might have to go more down than he thinks. 
There's a piece of He's using a piece of the predator truck there. He's got to just bear down and pump this in. Doesn't he have to go to the rail and out? He might have to go two rails. Because if he, if, he, if he goes one rail, okay. he's drawn it's to the rail and back pocket. out again. Yeah. Interesting, but perfect. Yeah. That was some seriously good position there. Mm -hmm. For a second, I thought he was going to hit that and come back out and play it in the other corner. In the other pocket, corner, but sure. he, he, he did it the, the finesse way. Nice shot. Three to nothing. And if he consolidates his break here, the lead will be huge. And that was uh, a gift from Alex. Well, he worked for his gift. Yeah. It took him quite a while to unwrap it. That's right. But uh, uh, Alex hung up the eight ball, ran out and hung up the eight. Okay. Three nothing, Torsten Homan, Torsten to break. The hit man to hit the rack. He had a fantastic break the first one. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, I argued that Torsten Holman was not an elite player. I was very wrong. For those, for the person that he argued with, did you hear that? <laughs> I think he's been an elite player for many years, as you noted. 15 years. Yeah, World Nine Ball years. Champion in 2003. He wins just about every straight pool tournament he plays in. Mm -hmm. And his other disciplines, I don't think I've ever even heard of him playing one pocket. Well, if he plays it, it's just because he's at the Derby City Classic playing it. It's okay. definitely not his game. I, I don't see why he couldn't and wouldn't, but he maybe just doesn't like the pace of it. Or maybe he loves it, but just doesn't have a, you know, it's not played in Europe very much. No. No. But isn't he living in the States now? He's living in the Philippines, I think. Oh, that's correct. He told us that. Yep. Thank you. That's correct. So in Europe, they have a, uh, a uh, tournament that's very similar to the Derby City Classic. It's actually... The city is, starts with a D also, but I don't know if Torsten's ever been to it. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea which Europeans go to it. Okay. You can see the issues here is that the high ball, the 12 ball by the 8 ball, has nowhere to really go unless it sneaks by the 3. I don't think it does. It doesn't look like... Uh, well, you'd have to start with the low ball. It'd be the seven ball. Or the I, five. I, I, actually, I actually like the stripes. Yeah, I like the stripes except for the 12 ball. And he, he, if he takes the stripes, his, his key shot will be the 10 ball. Uh, he needs to get on this 10 ball on the other side and move the 12. He also will need to, well, when he t takes care of the 12, he'll have shape on that 15 ball by the cue ball now for the side pocket. Uh, he's got to go upstream and then come down. He's got to find himself over by that five ball on the right side of your screen in the lower right-hand corner. Okay. Stop shot for the 10. That. Tried to give himself enough angle to come down. I believe he did. I believe I he's got he, enough angle. I, I think he did. Yep. You can see his sponsors there. Yeah. Cyclop balls. He's betting the game. On this shot? On this. He's betting the game on this shot that he gets on this 10 ball just right. He, he would have, yeah, because otherwise he won't have the break out on the 12. Yeah, he's got to get right there. On the middle diamond, or across from the middle diamond where he can draw into the, and hit the bottom side of the 12 to open it, and then have a shot on, shot. The, on the 15. Didn't get there. Didn't get there. 
the 12 definitely does not go. Yeah, I don't think it goes in the side on the right. I don't think it has a pocket. It does have a bank to the uh, side pocket on top of your screen. Mm. Uh, it's not on top of your screen anymore. He's going to go down and uh, he's going to hit this pretty hard. And he got and there. He but it, that doesn't, that's not going to get it. Well, at least it goes into a pocket before it didn't even go to the side pocket. But you're right. I mean, it, it's it's not exactly anywhere. Yeah, he had to hit the 12, not the 8, because I believe the 5 ball has him. Boy, if he could figure out how to get down table. Cut this 13. I've cut the 11 ball in. Oh, 13 in. Well. Bank uh, it. Looks he, like he he's got another problem it. right now, Fred. He is. I'm not sure the 15 goes by the 6. The, uh, yeah, the 6. Oh, no. I don't think it goes by there at all. Okay. So now his problem is he's only got one <laughs> shot. The problem is he can't shoot a ball. Uh, he, can, <laughs> he can bank the 13. He can cut it in the side and go around the table with the cue ball, three rails for the 15, and then... From there, he has to get on the 12. But uh, those are his options if, yes. the, if the 15 doesn't go. Exactly. If he banks it, he's got no way to get down there. If he cuts it in the side, he has to go three rails and come all the way around. And actually, if he goes too far, he'll find himself behind the 12-8. So he's going to go deep. Three rails. Yeah. And missed the ball. And, and he found himself. He's going to go way all the way down. Yeah. Well, if that's safe, um, Alex can return the favor. There's plenty of balls to. Um, uh, well, there's only a couple of balls he might be able to get behind. Three but he, ball. he can go to the head Two of the ball. table and not leave a shot. Up by the one, he doesn't give up a shot. The only shot he'll give up is a 15 off of the seven. You want to try to execute that off the rail? Two ball. He's cutting the three. He wasn't, he, he didn't even think about playing safe. Well, it seemed like a hanger to him, so. Well, this isn't a hanger that he's got now. It's harder than the shot he just made. He can cut the six ball down the rail. Uh, he no longer has the safety up table. The two ball is available to him, but it's nine feet away. Another cut here? Or is he going to bank it in the side? Alex is in trouble here because he's, yeah. he, he, I think he should have was supposed to play safety. And now he does nothing to safe behind. Well, and now he's got to shoot offensively. And both this shot and the sixth it. ball. Yeah. Oh, he's cutting this ball in. He's flying it. It's is he getting good? Oh, he's going to get behind the two ball? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, another shot that's eight feet away, and he's straight in on it, but he'll have the, the six ball back. I think it's easier to shoot the one ball rail first than it is to shoot the seven. Both are going to be yeah, no, he's just gonna shoot the seven. blood testers. If he makes the seven, he's going to shoot another tester up table. Great shot. The, the 15 still does not go by the seven, six ball. He's uh, hidden the 13, and the 12 ball is, you might as well say, hidden by the eight. I wouldn't uh, mind just go ahead and rolling this 15 up there. Maybe it, it maybe can block a pocket. Maybe it can get um, a block of the pocket for the, at least the six ball. Try to try to call it off of the seven. Maybe. He's going to stare at this. There's like one line that it might go in that you wouldn't be able to hit it even if you were using the 14, the 15 itself as a cue ball. If he can pocket the 15, he can win the game. Well, he 
They might just play, a, again, like a safety here. A roll off the top, freeze the cue ball down the bottom rail, maybe even, uh, yeah, freeze the cue ball on the bottom rail. Something like that. Ah, but it kissed out the six. And this shot looks available to Alex also. No, mm -hmm. not really as a bank. But can he cut that? I uh, believe he can either bank or cut the seven. Well, if he has to bank this, then the shot was good. I mean, it's just survival. Forcing him to make a shot. I think he would have liked to have limited his, his options by leaving the ball a little lower so he can't right. shoot the seven That's ball. what I said, that they were trying yeah. to freeze it to the bottom rail. Here comes the cut shot. Is there a danger of him scratching in the side? Nope, not by hitting that ball there isn't. <laughs> and look how nice he rubbed this ball and got absolutely in good. Um, He's going to shake his head here because the, sun, oh, the six ball doesn't go anywhere. It, it has to, oh. there's, not, there's not so many balls <laughs> to play position for here to get down there. If he rolls the one, he's got to roll the two to get down there. So mm. I think that's what he's going to do. But I don't know if he can hold that line to stay on the right side of the two the two line to the side pocket. How do you like going two rails at the six ball? From, from following off the, the, from following off the rail the into that pocket? I hate it, but maybe he loves it. <laughs> well, with his stroke, let's see. Oh. Nope, he's not going two rails. Yeah. He's coming back. Well, I think he's fighting to stay on the right side of that two line, the two to the side pocket <clears throat> line. It's not even side. It's, a, it's like there's a certain line that works and the rest of it doesn't work. Well, he's in trouble. Another. This rack has gotten him in trouble all the rack. He's three down already. Yeah, so. That's what he's looking at right there. Jack up and hold that line. Well, oh, how about playing the, the two bank. ball in the corner? And not playing the one. We still somehow has to figure out how to get to the six come across and shoot the one in the corner pocket as it's viewing it right now. Is he jacked up? No, he's... Yeah, holding this line. He just went past it, I think. Yes. Does the six pass the 12? Cannot can't, tell. Can't, can't it looks like it does. He looked to see if the ball went into the side pocket. So if he follows, maybe he can land on the six ball, follow forward. Like to the spot. Right to the spot. Somewhere around there. Oh, yeah. well, if it doesn't go straight in, he can certainly play it off the 13. But I think he plays it straight in. Sure. But he's got to hit it. Well, it's okay. He could also bank it. Mm, it's a funny angle. The, the bank angle is just a little funny. The cut is a little funny, too. Beautifully struck. Not funny enough. Alex worked hard to put his first game on the board. Behind the back. Hmm. One to three. Really tough rack. What a scramble. Our sponsor is Predator 1080 Chalk. Pure Chalk. Pure Chalk. Acme Cases. We saw some of those last night. Someone brought those in the booth. and uh, Last night or the night before, they looked pretty nice. Cyclop official balls of the U.S. Opens and CSI. This is presented by Q Sports International, and it's hosted by Griff's Barn Billiards, home of the U.S. Open Championships. This is a Fargo rate powered event, mm -hmm. seated using Fargo rates. And that website on the bottom is a wealth of information for you. Upcoming events, leagues to join, results. 
And watching Alex break the balls here. 11 ball on the side. Key balls going up table, but he's got a shot here. And the balls did not break up in the rack area. 13 ball is tough, but if he makes the 13, he might be able to hold the cue ball to break the balls out in the bottom. Oh, the 10-9 is, uh, I don't know, I can't tell if it's on. Looks like he needs to play the high balls here in the 13. Blocks the three ball. And the 10-9 might be a combination, might be a combination. Start off with a 12 ball or the 14. Did you shoot the the 15 ball first and then the 12, or the 14 ball first and then those two balls on the left? If I were left-handed, I think I'd be shooting the 14. But since I'm not mm -hmm. left-handed, I have to shoot the 12. There you go. This is the tougher shot, but it looks like if you make this ball, you're at least off and running. Because the 12 is the tougher one to get on. Well, you want to come shooting. all the way down? Oh, boy. Hello. Oh. Wow. See, I liked using that ball to open up the, well, I guess you don't have to open it up, the 10 ball goes by. If he gets right where he's at, the 10 ball goes in the pocket. Well, you still have to move the nine ball. Yeah, but I liked, I liked using that 13 ball that he just blocked uh, and, and come up for those balls with him and get the angle for that off of those balls up on top. Does he have an angle to go into them right now? Problem is, if yes, he, if I, he goes I believe up, he does. If he goes up table, a little bit up table, and plays the 10 ball to bunt out the nine, mm -hmm. he doesn't have a really clean insurance ball. That's uh, exactly. He, he can go into him, but, but he's not guaranteed a shot. Right. Especially if he clips the bottom side of the nine. Yeah, he's got to be able to clip the nine, get it into position because the three ball covers, and get on the 14 mm -hmm. or the 15. So he may just go. Well, if he can go into them right now, he, he should. That doesn't look like he's going into them. No, he's... So there he is. He's high of the 10 ball, so he can clip the 9 ball out. Does he hit him hard? Or does he just... Yeah, he's got to be able to play position for the 14. Or the 15. 14. Yeah. This 9 ball's got to move down there. Well, he's playing the 10, but he's got to move that 9. He moved Did it, but not there. enough. Not enough. I mean, he really yeah. had to smash it. His last shot when he hit that three ball, it kind of just goofed him up. Yep. Because yep, that yep. ball was available. Now the only ball he has shot he has here is either rail first on the 15, which I don't think he'll shoot, or that 14 straight in. Long, long straight in. This nine ball goes nowhere. But what are you going to do with this nine? You, you have to. Can't even bank it. Actually, he can. It will bank up in the upper right hand corner. See if he gets there. Yeah. I mean, the line. And if somebody can bank it, Mr. Pagulian sure can. But it's a straight in shot that gets him. Maybe because yeah. he was trying to do too much? I think so. Yeah. Well, Torsten, has, Torsten only uh, has one problem ball, the four. Oh, uh, yeah, and he doesn't have a shot. No, the first actually, shot. I take that back. He has a few problem balls, especially from this thing. He doesn't have an opening shot. He got a bank shot on the deuce. But he has to have the cue ball between the three balls that are up by the side pocket and uh, the, the, four, the 15 ball that's up in the, by the corner. He's got to be up in that area to shoot the three balls because that 14 blocks all three of them going to that pocket. Like uh, maybe playing the six, seven ball straight ahead into the rail and bump his ball out, bump it to the side there, one diamond out. 
if he banks this ball, he can get shape on those three balls up there. He's playing safe at the seven ball. Oh, he played this so well because he covered the corner pocket, so even if mm -hmm. Alex decided he was going to fire one of those balls, he couldn't see it. He covered both corner pockets. Good call with the two ball covering that. And then the they're using the other balls to cover the other corner pocket that has a ball in front of it. I think Alex is, is again in one of these cases where he's in such a bad position that you, you have to take the very aggressive shot. Bank the nine. Bank, uh, he doesn't. He can play the nine off the 14. This is, un this is gonna sound crazy, but this just came to my crazy mind. Off the 14, off the rail, off the deuce. Cheers. Cheers. From this angle, it doesn't look like he's hitting enough 14 to send the ball over there. No. From the angle previous that we saw, it looks like, the, from right there, it looks like it does have enough angle to come off the 14. But I don't think he can hit it because of the eight. As I look at this more and more, he can play the 14 off the deuce. He's got to go into the rail, up to the deuce, and then up. I don't think there's enough speed. Cutting the 14? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's got enough. Oh, he's banking. There's the bank, finally. Banking. He's banking the nine. That's exactly what we thought. That's exactly what you thought. I didn't think he could from here. Yeah, it's whether where he could or couldn't is is, uh, is less important. He, he was in such a tough yeah. position that yeah. he, he had to go aggressive. There's not much sure. more to do. That side. <laughs> and he didn't sell out. No. He's going to safe him on his own ball. Yeah, he's going to roll him up on top of him. Now, Toasty has given him the miracle out, but I don't think there's a single miracle out left. Well, this miracle worker has to has to find something to work with. Can he now? Can he bank that nine underneath the two? No. Where's he going to bank it to? I mean, oh wow, no. Well, it'd have to come. It'd have to go off the two. He's just got to tie up balls here or something. He like, can. Uh, well, he'll, he'll be able to bat. I was going to say he'll back cut. He can play the the 14 ball into the three, push it up, and then the cue ball underneath the two. So he tied up this ball. Trying to tie up this ball. That's, and he didn't do a good job at it. No. Torsten is still faced with a problem. Um, he's got to get up on the six ball for the side pocket before he can uh, do anything with the five, seven. The three balls by the by the center by the side pocket on the left are a problem. I think he can handle things down here, okay. But getting up there is tough, and he's got to manufacture a shot on the four. Well, the three goes off the four to bunt it out of there if he can't shoot the four balls clean. Feels like he has to cut the two ball and go up table, but he's not left right handed, so it's got to be with the bridge. What about just rolling up to the one, leaving the cue ball on the back rail, leaving the one where he can't bank the four, the 15 to the corner pocket? In other words, just yeah, real soft, hit the right side of it, and try to hook him on it actually. And it's hard to control the speed. Straight down there like that. I think he's got to stare at the six ball. If he think if he's convincing himself they can make the six ball in the side pocket, then he cuts the two ball and goes up and down the table with the bridge.
Boy, boy, boy. How about going off the deuce to the side rail right behind it and hooking him with the deuce? Yeah. With Nibble the deuce, come down to the pocket and down behind the deuce. Now he's got to play a shot that I, uh, that I suggested he, he shoot about what seemed to be 10 minutes ago. He knocked the ball, his ball, a uh, stripe to the rail. Oh, he wanted to get to the rail, okay, but he didn't get there. Well, but it was safer to do it this way because if he doesn't execute like right now, yeah, the, there's other balls that go. But yeah, before he was on the seven ball, I thought he could do that, push exactly like that seven into the rail, push the 15 up table. That would have cleared up something that would have been impossible for Alex to get out. Now it's he's got a bank on this. He's, he can make this ball, and then he has a bank on the 14 ball down at the bottom. Is that the 14 ball? I think it is. Yeah, one right behind the eight. The same bank he just shot a little bit ago on the nine. He'll have it. But he still has to contend with the nine ball. Is he just going to cover the pocket? I'm going to power this shot. Low right hand English spin one rail right to the nine ball. Let's see it, Alex, without jumping off the table. Here we go. Power low right hand English, one rail to the nine ball. Boom. Close. He's hit it perfect. You got it. You got it. He's hit it perfect. Yeah, thank you, people. Jeez, I didn't think he was going to get an applause there for a second. What a great shot. He still has to contend with this with this ball. 214 goes off the two deuce, so if it did before, it certainly does now. Well, um, that's all I see. What else could he shoot? Yeah, yeah, so you play the nine ball and then uh, 14 off the deuce and uh, shoot the eight ball in the side pocket of the corner pocket and go on to the next. He'll surprise us. He'll do what Alex wants to do and, and uh, do just what you said or try to move the 14. No, nope, right. he miscued. Miscued. Okay. Now he doesn't get a chance to really put put the stroke he wanted to, plus the ball goes the wrong way. Now he's got to draw this ball. Oh boy, now he's going to bank the ball. He's the ball there. He miscued, so. Interesting. This is going to be one heck of a shot. Can he put that much? He, look how much he spun that ball. He hit that ball straight up with a lot of English and had the English come down to make that ball. He moved that ball a lot. It wasn't a natural angle. It's a world class out there. Wow. Ball was made all with just all English. He put so much left hand English on that cue ball and opened up that rail. For those of you, because I know there's people out there who say you can't throw English onto an object ball. Oh, of course you can with the banks. Sure, that's not, sure, everybody knows sure. that. No, I there's think, some people that, that don't pe believe it. People, I think most people don't believe that you can spin a ball with the object ball, which I don't believe you can spin an object ball with, with English, but certainly with banks. I, I, I've never heard somebody say you couldn't do that. I have. And you show them when you twist balls, you can show them that, that, that you can spin the ball with English. That was just beautiful, the way that ball just took. I think the key to that, Iraq, was the, uh, the uh, Torsten pushing on his uh, on, on Alex's 15 ball, or whatever was up table, but didn't get it to the rail. Alex had the opportunity to power right hand uh, English that ball to the nine ball. And uh, he was able to get those balls to separate and have the opportunity to run out. The key to that rack was like you said, but he, 
he, he drew that ball to the side rail. Exactly. Down to the bottom rail, all the way down table, nine feet away to the bottom rail, and caught it perfect. Yeah, a little bit, he got a little bit fortunate because he, he'd already eyed up where he was going to do and it came up uh, longer, but it still had enough. It was almost like billiards where you can miss the ball mm -hmm. out and come back in out of the corner. Mm -hmm. Good break by uh, Torsten. Torsten probably a little, little bit dejected there because... That was a big shot. He was, uh, that, was, that was really a hero out. And you said it, actually. You said it. Thor Torsten's going to give him a chance for a hero shot. Yeah. And, uh, and once he didn't get that ball uh, up to the rail, I, I, I knew that Alex was going to do that one railer out with got, power right-hand English. Yep. Get to put that one on YouTube and go that go viral on that. <laughs> I was going to say, get your camera ready and take it on the uh, on the replay that we have up there, but it's too late. Okay. That was a great shot. Combination on the 2 1. Start off with the low balls. The high balls are good too because you can yes. get down on this side, uh, but I think that the combination on the 2 1 is going to be the shot. That's what he's measuring up. Oh, he's shooting the 5. Wow, oh, okay, from this distance. Sure. Why not? He says, let me see this again. It's a shorter shot. I can be more accurate with my striking abilities than that long, long shot down there that I'm using right hand <laughs> English to spin away from. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No good. No good. Alex probably, Ouch. Yeah, Alex didn't shoot any any set here, but yep. the low balls are blocking the eight ball in the corner pocket, but it doesn't have to go in the corner pocket. High balls are very good. Fourteen ball. Eleven or fourteen if he's gonna play high balls. Well, if, he's, if, he plays, if he plays low ball, all he has to do is make the four ball, the three ball, come up for the four balls up on top, and he's got a shot on the eight, the either corner pocket. Either set is very, yeah, very doable. Yeah, either set are very doable. Very doable. If he shoots the if he shoots the high balls, it starts the 14 or the 11. If he takes if he starts out with the 11, his key ball would be the 12. Or the 14. 14 or 15, yeah, the eight yeah. ball is going to go in the side yeah. pocket. Well, the ball yeah, is out in the open. Yeah, there's a 10 ball there. Can you come down for the 11? Where are you going, He's in Alex? trouble. Oh, boy, oh. that's just awful. He's in trouble. That's just awful. <laughs> After all that, just how about the 11 first instead? Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. You better scratch your head one more time. Too many hero outs. Can he bank the 12? Yes, now? he can bank the 9. He can bank the 9. Doesn't mean he can make it, but he can bank it. Well, if anybody can come with this shot, he can come with it again. But it's, it's going to take the same degree of accuracy that he hit that he won that last game with. Because he's going to have to do with a bridge. 
Jenna Massey. Yeah, Massey. He's Massey, it looks like. He <laughs> made it. <laughs> what some guys do for an applause. <laughs> Great now, shot, Alex. Now, because he didn't shoot the 14 first, the 14 still in the way of the 12. Yeah. If he, if he wants to, he can play the 12 here, but he won't. He'll play this nine ball and come over for the 14 and 15 and still play the 12. He'll probably play the 12 on the side or the corner, either way. Around the world here. One, two. Side pocket. Long. He's okay. Yeah. And there it is. The 12 go, goes in the side pocket. He'll be playing the 12 in the side pocket after this shot, I'm going to guess. If it doesn't go, then something else but I don't like it yeah if it goes he will play this if it doesn't go yeah, it goes. Is he straight, Freddie, or is he going to have an angle going down? He's going the wrong way, but he's going to yeah. like crash into the three ball. I don't believe he's going to draw back. Oh, he no, was he able was to get there. He was stop it. Pretty yeah. simple looking shot. And then cozy this in and play the ball in the side pocket. <laughs> and somehow he Alex found. has tied this up after a very, very strange first shot. He had ball in hand that first shot. All right, Ryan has uh, tied it up. This does not look like the same type of player he was against Clenty, but he's still getting out. <laughs> <laughs> he's made a couple of weird mistakes. Mm -hmm. He sure takes his, uh, checks that rack, wants to make sure he has uh, everything kissing each other so there's no gaps in that rack. He wants to make the most of his break. Here, and he's going to need it too. The balls I believe it's dry. Hit each other, then stop each other. You know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes they break the balls, they're, every one of them are rolling around. And other times they break the balls, and two of them that seem to be really going fast go right to each other and then stop. You know, <laughs> I, I just, I've been watching these guys break now for a few days, and uh, I haven't seen any rhyme or reason for some of the racks as far as making the same ball. The one thing right, I have yeah, seen yeah. are the two balls behind the head ball going to the side pocket. Yep. I've right. seen it maybe six times. Other than that, I haven't seen any consistent balls going in. You know, certain, for instance, the third ball from the whatever, I, I, you can't say that. I just, I, I can't see that. And these guys have been breaking the balls super hard. And it's just uh, doesn't seem to, to matter. Sometimes they just come up. Sometimes they hit them too hard and nothing goes. Uh, sometimes they hit them just right and something goes. So, so find the just right speed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Torsten scratched his last shot. 
the six ball must go because uh, he shot low balls. Yeah, no. Three ball. <clears throat> Don't know what he likes about the one ball. Right, he must think that the six ball goes. Uh, the no, five. it doesn't go. The six ball doesn't go. He chose low balls, and even though he had high balls to shoot, high balls seem better. That six ball looked terrible, and yet it's still there. So mm -hmm. there must have been a reason why he shot low balls, but certainly looked like high balls well, was the better side. Let's see if we can if we can do something here. He can get to the six ball from the seven or the deuce, and then uh, play it straight up table to where he just looked. He's not even doing that. No, he's not. He, he was trying to. Now he can still get to the six ball. If the deuce goes there, he can cut it and come over to it. And he's going to be forced to. To the six ball. Yeah. It was actually playing position. Missed it. Just missed it. Missed it. I think that's happened because he picked the wrong ball. Well, that was a very delicate shot. He had to cut it more. He didn't cut the ball enough and he barely got there. He was ever it was he was barely able to hold it there. Yeah. Well the problem was created a long time before that shot. And that's usually what gets you in trouble in eight ball. Yeah. Yeah. Chose the wrong ball to begin with, and the trouble ball he was trying to scramble to try to get to, putting a lot of effort into it. He must have seen something differently, obviously, but that six ball still doesn't go. And now this table's wide open if Alex can make this 15. Playing it in the side right as we speak. He's going to come up with another yeah. shot, probably the 10 ball. Come on, you pool player, snooker player. Here's a guy that played pool and then tried playing snooker. Well, similarly, you know, he won the Canadian championship. I don't know how much real, you know, uh, Alex had, I guess he tried to qualify. Mm -hmm. But before that, growing up, being in Canada, he's, he would have seen more good snooker. But I don't know if he, how serious he ever took snooker. Sure. But he did try his hand at it. And uh, on those big tables, 12 feet away, this isn't a long shot. Yeah, but you forget that the moment you start <laughs> playing. I mean, that's the thing, George. You know, I, 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 same thing with you probably. You know, I had a snooker table in my home room, oh. and I play snooker one day, and uh, the nine-foot tables would look like toys, but the next day I walk in, completely forgot about what happened on the shot. snooker tables. You know what I'm saying? Dish. It doesn't take long to forget about the, the, the big balls, big tables. It's not like it gets ingrained with you for life. It takes one day to play on another size table to forget how big, big or small, you know? Sure. Personally, I rarely played on six by 12, so I used to play on a five by 10 snooker table a little bit. Well, this ball apparently does not go in the corner pocket. Because mm -mm. if it did, he wouldn't be uh, too upset about it. Will he play the combo? Uh, Can he play the combo? Looks awfully tough there too. Sure. It all looks tough. But he's got to do something, so will he play a safety? How do you, what do you, oh, the, the, the two ball takes away the safety possibilities. All right. So play to hook him on the, on the two ball. Take away the two, you give up a bank on the one. He's playing the combo, I believe. Safety. Safety? No, he's he playing was the playing the combo. combo. Well, it was available. And he tied up his, those other balls. He's not going to be very happy there. At some point, he's got to play safety. Bank? Okay. <laughs> he's 
going to get out. Sure. He's the Alex Pagelein. Scramble master here. He's going to play this ball on the side. He's going to come over for the nine ball. Got a ton of inside English on this ball. Why didn't he spin over to hit the six? I don't know. I thought that's what he was going to do. I thought that's what he was doing. Yeah, but then I saw that he was going to use he used a ton of inside English, and it went completely not that direction. Well, I saw the inside English, but I thought that he was drawing it to, to get to it, get over, it there. over there. Yeah. Now he can't float this over. Wow. No, he, now he has to lay it on the rail. Yeah. Or make sure he comes down and stays on that side, on the left side. He's not laying it on the rail. He's he's not, go. But he came down and stayed on that side. Great shot. Now does he bank this or can he cut this no, off? No, he'll cut it in. In fact, he, he might be able to There's spin a it. Bank. Oh, he's going to bank it. I thought he would just cut this ball in. <clears throat> it looks like he's up, you know, he's up pretty high. He's, um, yeah, he's up there. I like him banking the ball, but I also like him cutting it. And the reason I like him banking it is he's a great banker and he plays a lot of one pocket. Wow. But even a great banker that plays a lot of one pocket doesn't make every shot. It almost looks well. No, I guess he couldn't have just he couldn't have played off the two ball because the two ball probably would just bunt it out and block the pocket. Well, Torsten's got to get out here. Well, the good thing about it is he plays this ball. He'd probably be safe. safe. No, he's not. He doesn't look like he's playing safe. He's going to come all the way back down and play the, the problem ball. That one right there. And now he's going to draw this back. Or take the two ball and still play it, play it, play that ball. Hmm. He might as well play the six ball next and then the two ball. He doesn't. He wants to play the six ball last. I think so. It's easier to get shape on the eight. It's agonizing too much here. The balls are so wide open. Just draw this ball back, shoot the two, and get to the six however you want. There you go. <laughs> I didn't like it. What, what? Three rails, six ball no. table. He shouldn't risk going underneath that nine. Three rails around, six ball of table. Like he has the break too. can't help but think that the temperature or something's changed down there because they don't have a lot of wide open runouts. It's been uh, run out, get all kind of goofy and miss and then. Well, they also aren't as big of breakers as some of the other guys we've seen, except for uh, they've yeah. been breaking the balls hard. Yeah, but both Alex and this and Torsten have been running out all day. We just mm -hmm. watched uh, Alex and against Glenty just run out from almost everywhere except yeah. for. 
Well, there, actually, there was no except for. <laughs> <laughs> there was big breaks and... And, and bigger breaks. Big breaks and many easy outs. And then uh, this, he's just been scrambling and he's just getting out of position. You know, Alex has hit a couple of shots that have come funny for him over and over again now. Not just a couple. Let's watch Torsten's break seven and 12. Torsten actually has one of the best breaks. Last last year, I uh, I was clocking him, and he was breaking them the fastest every, of anybody. There goes the 15 ball, 14 ball. I mean. oh, he's definitely going to get out here. I'm saying definitely like the price group of the first shot. I, I I agree, and he'll take he'll take stripes. He'll start with those two on top, take care of those four uh, around the spot there in the eight, and everything's open. Yep. The key here is that he's got to get as straight as he can on the 13, but even if he doesn't, he can't get wrong on the 13. Straight is good, angle is good, because the 10 ball is the toughest ball on the table, if you want to call one tough. None of them are tough. His toughest shot might be right here. Yeah. yeah. He's back cutting this ball and he's got to hold the cue ball and he should this this I don't think this presents a problem at all. He's jacked up a bit. He's, he's not corner hook, but he is back cutting like a little back cut. And then he's actually yeah, laying away. Come over. He there wants that ball. He wants that yes. ball. Yep. Straight down the table. Must get on the 13. This is this is the key to this rack, I think. Oh, it's a huge landing zone too between mm -hmm. the seven and the six. Mm -hmm. Just play it there. See, if he gets straight in the 13, they can play the 11, which, oh, he can play the 11, 11 passes anyway. All easy. He's playing the 13, I think. Well, 13, 13, 11 on the side, and 10 in the corner, 9 in the corner. Oh, that's no good. Wow, Toasty, what are you doing? He's got the 11. He's, he's got it, but that was, yeah. that's not where he wanted it. There's no, no way that's where he wanted it. Now he's got to contend with that 10-9. Yeah, and you see he's uh, flexing out his muscles there because he didn't shoot that all that good. But he can make the 11, slug, yeah. and, and now he's going to have a tough 9. I think he was trying to come back for uh, for the 11. Yeah, yeah. For the same pocket. For, uh, maybe for the same pocket or, yeah. maybe, or in the side pocket. Maybe he just kind of got confused. His arm got confused which, which one he wanted to do because both were available. But he's got to get on the nine now. You better make sure he gets on this. Oh, line. good. He got on the. He got back in line okay. by playing for the ten. Uh, no, Did he? No, <laughs> he came up short. It looks like the nine ball goes by the three. Maybe no. Maybe it, it doesn't. I don't know. Wow. Well, you see, I mean, it 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 seems so easy for him to do it. No, he's nine ten. ball. He's got to shoot the nine ball now. Uh, yes, or he can shoot the ten and bump the nine towards the pocket. He could, nice he could do that. that. He could do that, but it looks like he'd rather not bump and go around. He's going to come over for the 10. Probably pay the 10 in the same pocket or go around it all the way. Beautiful. He ran out. <laughs> he recovered well, but he, boy, could have gotten himself really bad. He almost froze himself on the 11 ball, but he's fortunate he didn't. And the and the run out. 5-3. He'll listen to this later and say, what are you guys talking about? That's exactly what I wanted to do. What's the problem, man? What's the problem? I got out, didn't I? And that's the whole key is these guys do make it happen. All right. You know, we can sit here and debate and talk. and Looks like we're going to take a break. Okay. But uh, these guys make it happen.
And we are back. You can hear the crowd all the way around this table. Well, Alex is uh, not doing all that great. He's been scrambling for the, for the games he's won. Not in the same position or not with the same precision that he had mm -hmm. in his last match. Even with ball in hand, he's made a couple of snafus. Oh, the, yeah. He, and Thorsa scrambled a little bit a couple, a couple of games now, too. Yeah. Things aren't laying perfect, but they're making it happen. Both well, sets okay. Solid. Combination on the 10 15, or uh, is it the problem? The four ball? No, there's no problem. Low balls. Low balls no. are really good. Matrian played just the two ball here. Doesn't need to, but if that's the first shot he's got, play the two ball and bump the one. This first shot will probably be the two ball. Unless he wants stripes, he'll take the 11. But yeah, this, right, is, this is what I like right here. Position on the one for the corner. Oh, he didn't have to bump it. No, he right around it. went right around it. That ball goes, that ball goes. He's got a nice pattern here. Uh, if he shoots the one ball, lines up on the six for the side, follows it for the five ball in the corner, comes down for the seven. Uh, the four ball stuff, if he does that though, the four ball can get tough. He'll probably come down for the four and then the seven. No good. Uh, I think that's no good. I think he wanted something. I think, yes, he's got the head scratch going. He wanted to be short of that. If he's got an angle, he'll punch it hard. Flap. See, I mean, he's, <laughs> that's what he had to do, and he still didn't get there. He wanted to go a little to his right as he views it. It's amazing how subtle these things are, but he knew he had to get it over. He tried to punch it hard, but all it did was crawl forward a couple mm -hmm. millimeters. Well, I see him playing the seven ball I and then uh, withdraw. Oh, oh, into the eight ball? Into the nine ball. Or draw, try to drop between them. He's going to draw this ball up. Right. And then draw kiss between off them. the nine? I don't think he just he draws between them. Like that. Now he's sure. where he wants to be. Nice shot. Behind the back coming up, mm. or the rake. Rake. Just don't bump that 14 ball. Come right up, just like that. Okay, there you go. Good out here. He needed that. Four five. That was Alex's break and run. Got to right the ship here. It's not off course, but he wants to stay ahead. He wants to keep that two game spread. Torsten had a really good break last time and he ran out, but he uh, also goofed himself up a bit. Mm. I, I, it feels like I, I just said this earlier, something has changed in there that there's a couple of positions that these guys who normally would be just on point precise little off. A lot of head shaking going on.
need to get to through a rack without scrambling. <laughs> well, I would like to get through a rack and get through the rack, whether I scrambled or not, as long as I get through it. There's that ball in the side, in the side pocket right from the top there. So well, uh, he's been the most consistent one to make that break. Well, what's he going to do here? Play that one ball? That's about all he has available to him. He's froze on the two. And if he takes solids, where are his problems? I don't see there really one. There really isn't anyone. Once he, the one ball is actually the biggest problem ball, and mm -hmm. he has to shoot it anyway. Straight across. Thorson should run out here. And I think he's going to run out easily. This one looks like a, you can't get yourself into too much trouble here, even though I said that last time. Kind of like you were asking him to do? <laughs> yeah. If he can see the five, he can shoot that right now. If not, he'll shoot in a second. Right over by the eight. That's oh, a, he's oh. in. Boy, it. Hello, bridge. Yep, the bridge coming up. The bridge coming up, and he has to shake his head or something. No head shake. Should be good. A straight pool player, world champion, should have no problem with this shot. Playing perfect position. Aha. Stop shot on the seven ball. Stop shot ish. Just get on the two ball and then the four? Yeah. One of my favorite key ball patterns. Two rails directly at the eight ball from the four ball. He crawled forward, oh boy. Mm -hmm. And you see him flipping the stick well, he, like that? He went the wrong way. He has a bad angle on this uh, How could he do that? Ball. He just stopped that ball. Now he's got a power draw this ball, I think. Low left-hand English, wow. Unless the two ball passes the uh, low left-hand low left English. Good recovery. Ball should be just right of center of the table when he's done. Uh, two rails, but there was that two railer off the end. And although he had to recover, he shot all the balls the right way. Maintaining his full break. Six to four. Alex can break and run and get to five. If they break and run their way out of here, Alex will be a two-game loser. Well, Alex has to win this one because uh, obviously he doesn't sure. want to lose and have Torsten breaking and hill. running for the for the last on the hill, breaking for the match. Well, what I see in this is Torres has been playing excellent, and Alex is actually playing a little bit lower than he did bef before. Sure. I'll tell you, he, he his game against Kachi was nearly was, perfect. He played excellent. He played beautifully. But his game here has been struggled. Struggling. Struggle yeah. and scrambling. S and S. Good break. And there's the break. Nothing on the break. Dry. 
Ooh. So the struggle continues. <laughs> I think they might ask uh, John or Gennaro to come over and move the rack. Is there a presiding referee? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. You can play the two ball and smash into the rack, and that's or, or play position in the rack. He's going to get good here. He's going to get trapped with nothing to shoot at. Try to open up that four ball, I believe. He slid through. Mm. He can always shoot a ball up table, but it looks like he can shoot the six ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see where this magic rack goes. Right on yeah, top. Yeah, the six ball is right on top of it. And of course, the ball. He's the looking six for ball the referee. Is the one he wants to shoot. And. Alex may just go up there and move it. Because he's shooting the six. Getting around the six, and if he can get up from the six to the four, he still has some work to do, but at least everything's open to some place. Yeah. Good thing here, though, is if he cuts the six ball, he can do with a little bit of pace because I believe he can run into the ten ball, which is what he just looked at right now. And that holds him for the four. I can't tell if he can actually hit the six ball without hitting the four. He can draw right into the four and play position, but then he may lose the four. I think he'd be right, he'd be playing position for the, the floor. Let's see if he gets around it. He didn't get around it, but he still got there. It didn't look like he could get around the floor. Like he tickled, it, but still got there. This is driving a car here. Interesting. One rail to the 15. Two rails to the 15. Or somewhere in the middle of the table. One, two. There you go. Nicely done. Looks like a probably play shape for the five here. Oh, the five, the five. Yeah, he'll five. go around the one, play shape for the five, then the seven in the side, and then the one ball. Easy. Uh, easy Too far. Easy, 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 now, easy. well, he's got a really he's easy, shoot that ball, but he's got his insurance ball over there. Now he can come over to the other side of the five and, and shoot it in the same pocket. I'd like to play the six ball. If he's going to play the six ball in the side pocket, I'd like to be playing it next. For all the reasons why we've said sure. before. Sure. This pathway to the eight he ball gets is nice, there. nice from the five ball. He can do either. Now, if he gets straight on the five and it's dead stop for the six ball, that's all right for the side. It's almost like you play it in both, for both of them. Not even close. Not He's even in close. trouble. My He's goodness. in big trouble here. Well, now, he went so far yeah. that he can actually see this five, six ball in the corner pocket. Now that goes back for the last several days. With, it's been long off that end rail, and uh, it did it again. Now he's going to shoot another three railer. I think this six goes. But <laughs> He's got to cut it back. Yeah, and he has no choice. Such a scramble. It's a seven ball, yeah. Seven ball. 
Thank you. All right, he's got to stop thinking about it. Just do it. Okay. He has to draw this ball off into the side rail, and it's an awful thin cut, but it's very doable. And actually, it's it's more doable than it looks. Is he trying to go to the left side? I don't think there's I a way. Think so. There's a way to he the, can to the right. Three rails around. Go to the right. I don't know how thick he is, but it looks like it's thin. They just goes three rails around. Oh, he's using outside English yeah, as if he he's got. Uh, he has to stay out of the pocket. Nice shot. Oh, has to play it in the corner. Yes. Or the side. No, he can play it in the side. But if he plays it in the corner, he slides down the nine ball. The eight ball doesn't go past the nine, so he's got to come to the left side of the eight, which means he has to play it in the side and come over. Just follow straight down. He's going to stun right over a little bit just to get on the eight. Get past the 11. All the way to the rail. And back. He didn't Not come back. Close. Wow. Trouble. He hit like two shots up table that were that came off the rail too fast for him. Well, he made the he, he made the shot on the seven ball that was all important, and I just feel like like he played that shot. Um, I don't want to say wrong, but safely <laughs> too safe. Um, he played. He didn't draw the ball enough. I, th I thought he could follow the ball, or just well, barely he, stun it. He just played two shots the same way, long the same way, and then he came up. What I think is, I don't know if he hit it short or if he was trying to hold up or, or what, but definitely funny. Well, I don't want to, you know, say he played it wrong. I just think that maybe the angle that I saw down there was much different than what he actually had. And so he felt he had to draw the ball to the rail and back out again. It did not appear that he did, but either way, he's where he's at. Now he's got to do something positive. Jump shot, why not the jump yes. shot? Why not the jump shot? He had to get up pretty high quickly. Yeah. We're talking about the jump cue, eight ball in the middle of the table. Oh boy. Maybe it just doesn't have it in his repertoire because guys that like to jump can would jump on this. He's playing a side pocket off the whatever that ball is. He's going to give up. Yeah. And he's got the rail. And boy, oh boy. Torsten. He's what disgusted. A... He's not happy. That rack took an awfully long time to, to get to this point. <laughs> well, it's a break for Alex. Yeah. Big break for Alex. Because this puts him on five. Back on serve. Yeah. Got an angle on this 11 ball, he's fine. Oh, interesting, he's going to play up here. It looked like that was going to be his last ball. He's coming back. A fan blew it. I think he'll play the 10 9, and he's going to play his last ball to the side pocket. 
Yeah. <laughs> Seven inch snatch. Uh, okay. But I have a feeling he's going to be straight into the side pocket with a seven if he does play it. Yeah, that's, you know, because he, <laughs> cause he uh -huh. decided for the side pocket. He's already out of line. If you want to keep below it, he's got to go all the way forward with the right-hand English. I wouldn't He'll fight for it. Forward with a little bit of right-hand English. <laughs> so now he's got to go to the rail again. He can stop it dead and play the eight ball in the corner. That's why he, he, he that's why he picked that ball at the end there. <laughs> he, he could have picked the other one. You know, he could have gone the other way. If he left the ball on the side rail, he'd be stopping for the simplest of all shots. But. They were not on back on serve. Torsten gets yeah, to break this one, so. The break was off. He had. He, he. he had the full two game lead. Yeah. Huge opportunity by Torsten. That's a nice cue by Tor that Torsten's playing with. Look how pretty that is on the bottom and then the, 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 the points and stuff. It's Volmer Q. I believe he's had that one for a while. Has he? Yeah. Probably sitting in the closet. <laughs> well, maybe this time he'll uh, run out all the way instead of get behind the ball. Yeah. Oh. Big break, big break. Ball, balls, balls are in. in. The ball's got to come up for him. And there's another one going in. Oh boy, he's not going to like this. Doesn't have an oh, opening shot. Oh, he's got shot. a shot. He's got a shot. Eleven ball in the side pocket. Okay. All right. Eleven ball in the side pocket. The twelve ball goes in the side pocket, and I expect him to get out here. And no, the nine ball goes by the one. I'm, I said this last time. You know, no scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> I think the nine ball goes past the one. Looks yeah. it. Eleven in the side, and start from there. Get down. Somehow get down to the 12, which I guess you can go with 13, 12. Does the eight ball pass the two? If it does not, then the 13, 12 are going to be his last balls. Yeah, I think they will be. And it does look like the eight ball goes by the deuce. If not, it does go by the six ball. All right, hold your nerves together and just shoot this ball in the side pocket. If he misses it, it's because he's nerved out. Hold it, hold it. Did he, he go too far? He did. He did. He has to cut. He has to back cut the twelve, the fifteen ball in the side pocket. No, he didn't go too far because I haven't seen a face out of him yet, and he hasn't smashed the chalk. No. Oh. Always have the no, tells. Not, the tells are always there. No smashing chalk. No hand slaps. You see how far that ball went? I mean, it it it, it feels like you can see it like explode off the cushion. Okay. Because he wanted to be just a little short of this line, it actually went too far. I'm not sure if he's straight in. So now he's got to come off the rail. He's come too far. So he's got a hand. The hand gesture tells me he was went farther. See, so he just shook his head too. He's okay. He can bring the ball back a little bit, get on the 13, and then draw off the rail to for the 12 in the side, and then the eight. He can he can work with this all day. Let's see, there's the head shake. 
Yeah. I know. I know he he came up too far both those shots, again off the end rail. He's concerned about running it off the rail too far, and maybe getting behind the eight. Is all I can think. He's okay. Yeah, he's going to draw back about uh, one foot, and then come crashing straight mm. into the eight ball when he comes across. Yes, absolutely. The concern is that getting behind the eight ball, the proverbial eight ball. Yeah, he looks like he's pretty straight, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. If anything, he's on the wrong side, going going to his left. Oh, he went yeah, forward. So, so bad. He's not going to be happy come at on, all. Get there. He's not going to be happy at all. Yeah. That hurts. That hurts. Well, he made two mistakes. Uh, just, I mean, they're just subtle mistakes, but he felt he had to go down all the way down that way instead of playing the 13. He went for the window instead of uh, yeah. the area. How could he not just punch that ball back and play the 13 and go right into the eight ball? Eight ball's going right to the side of the table anyway. It's, you make a decision and you stick with it, yeah. and, uh, and then you execute it. Look how small his window was. He was trying to go on the, on the inside of the, the right side of the six. But he, he came down low. Even if he makes this two this twelve ball, he's got no future. Oh, Toasty, you just completely given away. He's now he's trying to tie these balls up now. Yeah. He hit it. Nice hit. hit that. It didn't look to be a good spot to hit it and get position. Well. Well, the shoe's on the other foot. Alex gets out here, and he's breaking That's to get on the hill. Painful. And he'll get, he'll get the break. Uh, hill, hill. Uh, well, he's still got to get out. He's got a few games to go. Yeah, he's got to get out. And that is no good. No good no indeed. Bueno. But he's got a nice safety down there by the by that uh, first diamond by his hand there. If you see his hand, and there's that diamond, he can go off of uh, that seven ball and play safe Yep. down there. If that's no bueno, he can play safe. There's Sarge right behind in that blue shirt, Mr. Trick Shard Artist. He's gonna play. He's gonna play the combo here, I guess. That's hmm. be a heck of a shot. It's a match loser if he misses it. So in this case, Alex went for a big breakout there and got a got a little bit of a bad roll. Torsten put himself in that coming off a rail. Going for the win. And coming down. Is he gonna freeze on that one? No. Nope. Oh wow. Nope, nope, Big break nope, for nope. Torsten, but Big he still has time. to come with a shot. Torsten's gotta to make sure this is straight in and just just put it in. Doesn't have to be firm. It just firm be regular. Total, yeah. Let your abilities do it. If you hit this with the center ball, it'll just crawl forward. Bam. Does the eight pass the two? I, say, I think it does, but maybe not. Even if it if doesn't, it doesn't it's just coming in reverse. Oh, it does go. It goes. And Mr. Homan is on the hill.
Boy, you got a reprieve there. Oh my! Did really, he? Alex? Uh, yes, he Alex did. Alex got a bit of a bad roll, but he knew he was he was he was running into trouble trying to break those out. Yes, he did. Well, Alex, now to break. Let's just break and run this. They just get a hill, hill. Yeah. They just traded opportunities as there to who's going to get on the, you know, who who has a better chance of winning, and uh, Torsten won that, <laughs> won that uh, battle. There's our sponsors: Predator 1080, Pure Chalk, Acme Cases, Cyclop Official Balls. Griffs, the, ven the host venue, and proudly presented by Q Sports International, your U.S. Open 2018 U.S. Open Eight Ball Championships. Yep, this is a Fargo rated event. Seated, 16 top 16 are seated. That's right. Using the Fargo rates. 39 players. These two ended up on the winners' side and have to face each other. One of them will be winner no more. <laughs> He will be on the one loss side, but he's a match away from coming back to the finals uh, to play a single race to 10 for $9,000. First place is $9,000. Second is six. Third is four. And what times are uh, semifinals of the west side tomorrow? I believe we're going to be Three and five, was it? We'll get that straightened out here. I no actually, balls on the break. Oh, the seven ball leaks in. And let's see, he's got low balls to shoot at. I actually posted it on, on my Facebook page. Ah, uh, not again. The low balls look much better because of that th uh, five ball, but he's got to shoot it first. And Here he's going to get go. to the lower left side to get to the six and the three. Our semifinals match is at five o'clock, and our finals match is at 7 p.m. Then when is our semifinals of the l l west side? Well, the west side would be 3. 3 p.m. That's when we'd be starting tomorrow. There is one more match, I believe, isn't there? No? Uh, Do we have a 1 o'clock match tomorrow? Are we back tomorrow at 1 or at 3? 1 o'clock, then. Yeah. Finals is at seven, yeah. Alex has to make a total clearance here, and he looks like he's forced to play this five ball, which is the hanging ball. And I think he's wondering whether or not you use this five ball to come all the way down table to get to the six ball uh, and the three ball, six or three. If he does, does that, then he can come back up table. Torsten is his um, <clears throat> Fargo rate is at 777. Alex is at 802. So there's 29 points. Is it 29 points? 23, 25 points difference. In a race to eight, should he be getting a game on the wire? I doubt it. <laughs> Not quite. According to Fargo. But they are both in the top 100 um, as of July 16th. World top 100 from Fargo rate, rated by them. Tough first shot. Both balls are fairly open. Two of the toughest players in the world. Matched up. The difference uh, is two games between them so far. Alex is making sure that it doesn't go more than two games between them. 
It's taking a long time. It feels like he has to shoot um, the five ball. There's a lot of stake. He's got to be able to slide by the 10. What is agonizing? He's shooting the one ball that frees <laughs> up the 11 ball, which he can't shoot first. If he takes stripes, he can't get to that ball, the 11 ball. This is the beauty of eight ball. <laughs> wow, we're into how many minutes has he been agonizing over this now? I don't know. But by this time, he could have drilled a bigger hole in the side pocket and shot the 11 ball there. Yeah. So when he takes this 13, the 11 ball will still be the problem. And I don't know how he's going to get to it. He got there. He's going to come over with a nine and shoot the 11 in the lower right hand corner pocket. Well, he put the whole game the, on the, the shot. Game on the shot. Yeah. But there wasn't much to do because he had to put the whole game on the shot and the five ball to the uh, three seven, uh, three six if he, if he had chosen that. You know, you said it a little second ago and he went too far. Oh, he's always going to get away the with other it. corner. He's got the other corner. It, well, he, I can't imagine that's the direction he went. It's I, actually an easier shot than playing it to the lower corner. So. That's probably the way he went. I don't know. I they, just, they've been going along on yeah. the end rail so often that I'm just thinking he did he just basically overplay the ball. But you know, putting the game on this one shot, you said that the, the shot prior was the beauty of eight ball. Yeah. So is that. So is that because if he succeeds. And yeah, he has he to shoot this. Sure. But can he? Uh, sure. Can he hold this ball? Can he follow? He's following this ball. He's, yeah, he should. Because he, he can come down. If he comes down, he can play the ten in the side, and then play those three balls down in the bottom. Come up for the eight. He's in good shape. As long as he doesn't miss a ball, <laughs> he's in real good shape. Uh, Just go ahead and run. He's going to play down. the ten, I believe. Playing the ten, he's got to run it down. To play for the 14 right in the side. Because does he want to bump the 12 and then play the 10 next? No, he'll play it now. Yeah, he will. The eight ball is not exactly yeah. easy. Oh boy! Oh, that ball was going. Yeah. That yeah, ball, ball goes going sure. Posture. Sure. And he's got to put the cue ball in the area that he has it now for the eight ball in that other in the right hand corner. Don't get over a ball. He's fine. He's fine. Do you, which way do you go? He could. He could. If he shoots the twelve, he can mess up his angle to get up to the eight. He's got to have a good angle. Oh, he's gonna, okay. So he's going to follow same this thing, way. Straight same follow. Thing. He'd probably be right on the same area. Yeah. Right in that area yeah, within a foot, to, and he's gonna, he's going to accept a longer shot. He's going to come to the side. He's there. He's taking the shot. He didn't want to risk going further over to the right. A uh, high on the on this here. He's good. Well, to get to six, Torsten to break for the game, for the match. You missed it. Missed it, hung it, and Torsten's going to have a shot on the three ball, the one ball. Well, I believe that if he can get on the deuce, he can play the one five combination. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, because he shot and, you know, shot the high balls, which, you know, both high and low were tough. The first couple of shots were tough no matter mm -hmm. what, but if he took the low balls, he could clear out for the eight ball. But it would be no guarantee that he would have gotten down to these this three and six, which were the problems. So he agonized over it, and rightfully so, even though the table seemed wide open. And just slide up there for the two. Well, Torsten has to run these out. Perfect. No ands, if, or buts. And the other thing is if he gets on the two, he'll just kick behind it two ball 
kick behind it and rub that one ball towards. But I think he just played to the two and just played behind it. He really should get out here, but he's got to make a good shot on the two ball. So he's kicking behind. I think he's kicking behind. With his straight pool background, I, I, he, I have to believe that he's going to be very good here. He's got to lay the ball on the rail in the middle diamond to shoot that, like you, like you mentioned, the, the one five combo. Yeah, he may kick it right out. He could slide out over like a, a originally, but if he came up a little short, now he has to fade the eight ball. So I'm thinking that he actually goes there and taps on this one. Let's see what he does. If he can go over there and tap on this one full, it wins in the game. If he misses it, he loses it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he, is he, this is the game for him to slide on over. Was he trying to tap it you or not? You know what I would do here is I'd just park it, pocket the four and bank the one ball into the five. It's, you can't miss, I don't believe he can, miss the, he can miss the ball in the jaws with a bank. If you're going to bank it that bad, then oh well. But I like, I like banking the one ball into the five ball. I think he's going to. Oh, my goodness. He might. Yeah. Or do you play for position on the one ball? You want to travel the ball five feet? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess again, that's off the end rail has been long, 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 long well, every gonna, single time. So he's going to draw over and play it in the corner. He's not going to try to get there. That's where he's going to go. Get straight somewhere. Yeah. He'll take that. I still would have banked it. <laughs> straight shot for the win. He'll know. If he hits a slow enough, he'll know. Oh right away. Boy, oh, boy. This is... This is Under a blood, these conditions, this is, like a big crazy. It is a, this is a big blood test. Everybody in the house is holding their breath. But he's he's been in this position many times, right. especially with his accolades and the number of tournaments he's won. He's going to get him, give him a big yell. There's your yell. That is, I don't care who you are, where you're from, that shot, that pocket gets about three and a half inches big when you shoot that shot. Wow. It just shrinks. Oh, wow. Your nerves shrink it. Yeah. Been there, done that. Torsten's got to walk away and take a break, I think. I thought Torsten just broke that. Yeah, no, Alex was the one first shooting. I know that. So, okay. Because uh, he was agonizing over the five well, he, ball or the 13 yeah. ball. He wouldn't be at the table if, if, if it was... Um, it was Alex's break, so I thought incorrectly. The difference in banking the ball into the five and making that ball straight in, he had four and a quarter inch pockets to make the straight in shot. He had about a seven inch pocket to make the, uh, the bank. Mm Look at these balls just fly in. He's got a straight in shot on the five. Does he want solids? The three ball and the seven ball are, I think the seven ball goes between the three and the 14. So the three ball is a problem. And no, both those balls are a problem. The area around the spot He's is a problem for both players. Yeah. Well, for the solids, not for the stripes. If he can get on the floor ball into the side pocket, 
Oh, the, oh this, this seven ball goes. Mm -hmm. So tapping out that uh, three ball will not, it should be able to get there as long as it gets below the seven ball. If it, it goes, it looks like it goes. Yeah, from this angle, it looks like the three ball goes to the other, oh, to, the, well, like to the lower corner pocket too. Does it go, it looks like it goes by the 14. It might, it might, might. It might not. It's tight. So he only, only Torsten can know for sure. You know, from up here, we can, we can guess. Either way, he's got to get out here. But Alex did what he had to do <laughs> to win that game. He hoped properly after missing the eight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. His prayers were answered. Draw it straight back. Yeah. He wants the tool. Well, he wa I thought he wanted the floor ball, but yeah, see, he dropped his shoulders there. He knows he overhit it. <laughs> One more shot at it. Well, I think he has to leave that one ball that's by the pocket, the four. He has to leave that for um, for an uh, insurance ball when he uh, when he attacks the three and the seven. He said he touched the fifteen. Hold it. Oh boy, he's run out of he's run out of uh, balls. To get on the four. Yep. Definitely run out of balls here. I'm gonna roll it down. I assume he's he's standing at the wrong side of the table to be looking at this. Now he can get it over there. He's got a good angle on the four to come down for that seven ball. Let's roll it down. But you know your adrenaline's pumping right here. Missed, missed it by it, a missed mile. The ball. Missed it by a mile. Just to hold that line, because he had to hold that line. He did have to hold that line. This is uh, this is tough. He's been sitting on the hill for several games now. The eight ball's buried, and Alex will do something to break him out, but he'll need a break here. Well, he has the he has the firepower to do it. He he can get there with the nine ball. He can get there with the fourteen ball. If that cue ball was laying about a foot to the right and down a little bit, he'd have the shot to break out the the three eight uh, and have an insurance shot on on balls there. But it's not laying there. He has to manufacture uh, that angle to get there or get there from the nine, either one. He can also do it from the other side, from where the nine is. He can uh, draw the, pocket the ball and draw it and break up the eight, break it out. That would be his insurance ball that he's shooting now though. He goes to break him out. He's doing this now. It. <laughs> he's got a bounce. It looks like he might have a shot at it now, but there's no insurance ball. Does he actually have to break it out? The eight? Um, it looks like it. Freddie, I'm not sure it goes by the seven. See it from that angle? Yeah. It goes up table once the ball yeah, is clear, but yeah. 
if that's going to happen, he's for sure he's going to tickle it something out when he's hitting the 14. They have both missed up table shots, shots like seven feet mm -hmm. away. They have both missed them. So I think they're going to be a little, especially with the pressure of the situation. Oh, he can't um, hit this. Yes, he can. Oh, boy. Saying. He, he, he can try that. He can't be covering that, but and I guess he's, he's got, all right. He's Seven ball, I mean, eight ball now only has the other corner pocket <laughs> up top. Um, he can do this again, but he, he you know, he uh, has to have a shot. He's got to shoot the only ball. Yeah, now he's got to. He has to save this nine ball instead of shooting it. <laughs> he has to. He has to shoot the nine ball last. If he shoots it first, then he's going to risk having to come up table, go down table to shoot up the table on the nine foot, eight foot shot. I disagree. I think he can shoot the nine ball, come around to the right hand side pocket, take the two balls in the middle, and then um, and then get down here. He might even try to break it from here with a withdraw. I'm, assume, I'm assuming you're disagreeing with Alex because he's the one yes, down on yes, the table. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. No, 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 I wasn't disagreeing with you. Yeah. Oh, you said he has to leave the nine ball. He, that's, has to, that's, he, that's he, he would rather leave the nine ball because that's the one down table. But now he's forced to shoot the nine ball and come, come from up table just like that to get down table. That's why he slammed the... the, slammed the uh, slam the table because of the difficulty. Mm. He's been scrambling and moving the cue ball all the way around the yeah, table right. all day, and now he's really <laughs> uh, agonizing over this. Yeah, because he shot, missed a few shots. Okay. I think that's why. He'd yeah. rather, he would rather leave the nine ball, but he, he, he knows that he has to shoot it. <laughs> Now he's got to shoot the the 15 and the two balls and then gets down there for. I believe he's going to be playing the 11 ball next. If if I if I read how he was trying to run mm -hmm. out here. Mm He pointed to this angle, and that's he wanted way too higher. much. He <laughs> wanted way higher. too much angle. He, he wanted higher. Well, the good thing about it is both corners on the right side, uh, eight ball goes to both corners right. on the right side. Well, that's where he's been playing for this. He's got to go down table. Easy, don't get, he's okay. <laughs> he's, he's, he's good. He may run into this ball at this point. He doesn't want to touch that three ball. Is he going to walk around the table one more time? He's playing. He's taking laps around the table. No, he's ready to shoot. Well, he's got to either go right to the bottom rail or run into the eight ball. I think that he's going all the way to the bottom rail. Oh, he's going to come back. And uh, <laughs> Alex to go on the hill. Great shot to break it out. Mm. Instead of settling for the long shot, right, right, he went for the breakout and got it just right. I think it's because of the misses, all these missing.
Yeah. Darston is uh Hill Hill. Hill toppers. And now Torsten gets to watch Alex break. Wow. This match has gone back and forth between these two guys. Torsten has to be agonizing in the chair. Here we go. The last game of this match. Of this match. For tonight. Winner of this game. Torsten has had every, every opportunity. Yes. Winner of this game moves on to the finals. It's really one go oh, and somebody scratched. And this game is for a guaranteed additional two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Because uh, the winner of this game will be guaranteed second place. And uh, third place is four thousand. Second place is six. So you guaranteed second place. This is one of those where, because it's gone, everything goes hard now. Everything <laughs> is difficult. This is a tough. This is tough for Thorson, but he's got, yeah. the, he's got the hammer right now. Let's see if he can make hit the nails. He's the got floor ball makes high balls tough. It's not just that's tough. It's the whole situation. So Alex made one of each on the break, huh? Including so the white ball. Including the white ball. Three balls on the break. One stripe, one solid, one white. With a little red dot on it. I say it's a big red dot, isn't it? Hmm. The big spot. What do you like here, Freddie? I don't like either one of them. Both. I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself in, in, in the situation that he's in, and he's agonizing. Why can't I shoot the six? Why can't I shoot the 13? The 13 I, can't pass. I, He's going to play the combination. I actually like like playing uh, playing this. Is that the 10 by the pocket? Yes. And moving the 13 with the shot. Well, I think that would be the shot, but it, because of the situation, that shot becomes, you know, he misses it. <laughs> That's it. But well, if, he, if, he, if he plays it, then the 13 is clear to go. How would you miss? Hitting the 13, coming off the 10. Again, and you you're got, guaranteed it, it, the nine it, it, ball it, it, in the it's corner. Put, putting yourself in the situation right now, that that's why it's, he's agonizing. Mm -hmm. if, if he could just mm -hmm. pot the 13 without even thinking about it, he would have already done that. If he could make the six ball without thinking about it, he would have done that. Well, then. But he has to shoot the high balls because of the two. And the six. He, I, I, it feels like he wants to play the 13 someplace. He keeps on looking at it. Yeah. Well, he's worried. That's his problem ball. Yeah. I think he's going to play a combination. Oh, boy. He's going to shoot the combo? So the six does go here in the oh. side pocket. All right. It's... He was, they said he was agonizing. Why can't I shoot the 13? Why can't I shoot the six? The two ball will go after the one ball. This goes back to the beauty of this game. But. The other thing you can do is, is is take care of the seven, four, shape the three to come back and lay it on the mm -hmm. rail for oh, the, the six. six. Ball, yeah. a, uh, if the two ball goes past that 12, it's not an issue. The one ball goes past. So. Here He's we got go. ways around it, but this is an easy way, or e easier way, so you don't have to land the ball in the right place. He plays the six. The two ball is the whole game. Plays the 13. He has to get a shot on the 
13 if he plays a 13 10 combination. Got to get on the one. This game is brutal. <laughs> Every person in here is stiff. The beauty of eight ball, you were saying? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful and <laughs> agonizing. There's the this score. This is as good as it gets as far as uh, the suspense. I mean, it looks like everybody in here, including us, is just completely holding their breath. If that's the case, they better shoot a lot faster or people are going to start passing out. Well, power draw this ball or follow. I think he wants to get to the one ball. I don't believe he's going to soft roll this for the three ball. Well. The four ball's not that easy. No, nope, it's if not. He doesn't shoot it now. He is going two rails forward. Don't hit it. Okay. <laughs> well, he's going uphill. E gads. Can he see his one ball now, or did he, he just come up short on it? He can come up for the two ball from here and shoot the two ball straight in, shoot the one, the three and come over for the eight in the same pocket as the three. And where does the two ball go? Doesn't it go past the 12? I don't uh, I don't think so. If it does, oh. he's easy. If it doesn't, then. Then he's playing two rails to bump into the two. No, it must oh, go it must past go the by because that's his, where he's playing. Wait, he just dropped his shoulders. If yeah, the two ball a little high on it. But if the okay. two ball drops, if the two ball past the 12, this game is over. Yeah. I thought this two ball was, uh, was agonizingly tough. I thought he already looked at this and it went. So I thought he was playing for that and the one next and then to come down. He's spending an awful lot of time to finally look at this ball because he played directly for it. How do you play for that ball and not know that it goes or doesn't go? Well, maybe he was playing for the one. I, I thought that he was playing for the one because he could get to the two after uh -huh. he rolls the one. Yeah, huh, huh, no huh. chance. Wow. Uh, I didn't think it went. And it uh, looked like he had to get to the two ball from the one ball. Everything just, that just happened at Torsten Homan, I think every one is, of us has felt. He had a 7-4 lead and had, I believe he had a shot to win every rack. Yeah and just couldn't get there. Couldn't close the door, huh? Or maybe the door was unlocked, he just couldn't open it. Yeah. It's like, the just door was unlocked. Open. He was reaching for the door handle, <laughs> but he had a whole bunch of sweat on his hands to turn that knob. Okay. <laughs> Alex's first shot might be a combination. No way. If he misses, he doesn't leave a high percentage shot. He did shoot the combination. Wow. Yeah, you're right. If he missed that ball, he wouldn't have had a torch. The back cut in the one would have been on. Stopping okay. on the nine. Stopping on the nine here, and uh, boy, Alex keeps on pounding the rails every time he doesn't get perfect. That's a heartbreak for Torsten. Oh my goodness. And he had ball in hand, and I knew that you know, he agonized over that because I didn't think the two ball went. Oh my goodness, Alex just, just, Alex just. Says he can't draw my ball. He wanted just to stop it, but it hit that rail, went forward. Alex can't win from here. If he can make the 13, but I don't think he can win from here. That's unbelievable. <laughs> can he play safe? Yes, he can play safe. He can fire that uh, 13 and roll down. Roll down to the bottom of the eight? Yeah, to the bottom and make sure that he hooks the three ball with the eight. So he does give a bank. The one but, ball goes. But I was going to say, but, gonna but Thorsten roll. will have Thorsten's going to roll the one and make it for once. <laughs> but he will have that hero shot like you. 
like that. I can just imagine Oscar Dominguez and Clint Ikachi looking at this saying, how would come these guys didn't play like that against us? Happens That's all the time. Unbelievable how many shots are missed. How many times do you get in a tournament and have a great match and a bad match right next to each other yeah. or have two great matches and then one letdown? I mean, both these guys have missed position, missed shots. Two of the greatest players ever. You see over here, this is probably the best shot for it. Yeah. Somewhere over here. Yeah, see, he, he can't block that three ball, can he? If he does, he Getting gives close. up a good shot on the one. Safe, rolling it. Wow. He can actually, you know what? Actually, I just saw this. He can bank this ball, the 13, up onto the three and leave the cue ball on the bottom rail. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that's what he was uh, pointing at. And uh, he's not shooting that now. He's shooting something else. He's shooting at the 11 ball. Or, oh, he's trying to, he's doing it with, th with this ball. All right. Well, if Torsten just back cuts the one ball, at the very least, I think he blocks this pocket. Oh, my goodness gracious. Who, who was that? That Alex? was Alex. That's it's Alex. From here, the back cut on this one ball doesn't look so bad. From here, it looks impossible. If he cuts this ball, let's see what happens. There you go. We'll take a look at that back cut. He's going to have two huge shots in a row. He's got to cut the one ball, hit the 14, then shoot this three ball and come around for the deuce. Next to impossible. Oh, I'm thinking he's cutting the other way. Oh, he's going to cut it back? Maybe. I yeah. mean, and if that's, he cuts that's to the right, too. that goes off that's the 14 right in the side pocket. Cut to but the left, maybe he blocks the 14. And he's got to have to run into something. Cuts it on the right. I believe he gets he's by. He misses the deuce and comes all the way down and has no shot. He's called the left corner, yeah. I think. He's cut. He's called something. I can't tell what he's Actually, shooting. oh, this might work. It's going to have some pace, so I, this might work. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He went for the whole ball of wax right. instead of just slow rolling it in there. I don't know that you could slow roll it. But yeah, it's. If he slow rolled it, then he'd be blocking the pocket. That's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. He, you were yeah. thinking, okay. If that, he doesn't make way. it, it blocks it. If he doesn't, you mm -hmm. know. His biggest opportunity was when he had the game where he could have banked the ball and he. Play position matter. for instead. Uh huh. Look at this leave. <laughs> Somewhere. Doesn't he wish he was left handed? <laughs> Keep the bridge out or behind the back. Good news for either one of these guys. As you said earlier, they've got another bullet left. They've yeah. got, they come back, win a match, come back. They can win a match and come right back to the final. And it's like, this match never happened. That's right. But they're going to be facing some uh, tough competition. Now 
he's got to make sure he's not straight. We still have a Clint Kachi left. Yep. Oscar Dominguez. And Oscar Dominguez. We Whoa. have some definite definite talent left we, in this. We have Shane Van Bolden left also. Yeah. Too far. Too far. You see how that exploded off that cushion? There's no question about it there. That cushion has gotten both of them. <laughs> and now he's got to spin this with inside or go to Play the deuce and come back. <laughs> um, it's a stop shot on the deuce. And then the three. Yeah, but he's on the high balls. Oh, he's the four. Oops. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. How about you? I, from, I looked away and I, I couldn't figure out. When I looked back, forgot who was who. Which had which. Spinning with inside or drawing with the right outside. Oh, that's okay. Makes us all day. Behind the three Is he going to get behind it? Oh! No. <laughs> that's not even right. <laughs> for the match. It's in there. <laughs> All right, everybody. Alex Pagalion wins the hot seat match. We will see you tomorrow at 1. Good night.